Hello, in this video I am going to talk a little bit about the asymptote vector graphics program. Asymptote is a tool using which you can draw scientific diagrams and vector diagrams more using a programming based approach rather than a what you see is what you get approach. So in terms of capabilities wherever there is repetitive uh, drawing or accurate drawing requirements it's better to use a, a tool like asymptote as opposed to something like Visio or say Inkscape. So asymptote can easily be downloaded for many operating systems, Windows, Mac, Linux and others. So I'll put the download links in the description below. So as you can see, this is the asymptote website and in the website you have the documentation and oh, you know some examples as well as the downloads. You click on download, you take into the download page where you can download asymptote for your operating system. Uh, if you're using something like Ubuntu or some other version of Linux, it's probably easy to install using the package manager which is present in your distribution. Uh, a comparable software is Inkscape which is a visual you know what you see is what you get kind of uh, software where you can draw vector graphics and it's actually very powerful and capable and offers a good comparison but for certain applications uh, asymptote may be better. A closer competitor could be something like TIGS which is highly related to uh, you know the capabilities of asymptote so it also has very similar uh, capabilities and you know are very powerful and also embeddable into LaTeX and other texts just like asymptote. The only difference asymptote offers is that it has more of a C-like syntax which makes it attractive to people who are familiar with the C-like programming language. So installation you can just read the instructions on the website but when you're ready you just need a text editor and you need a, something like a PDF viewer or an SVG viewer. So let's start. So I am going to use my favorite text editor which is Emacs. You can use any text editor and in order to just compile the asymptote program into a graphic, you just need to enter the command asy and then the file name as you can see below and that's it. So let us begin. So I am going to just start out with a very basic example. I am going to write directly write uh, the output to a PDF. PDF is a very advantageous format because it's a, you know, it's a vector graphics format and you can actually zoom in without loss of accuracy. So I'm going to say settings.outformat equal to PDF. It also supports PNG, SVG and a host of other formats that you can use. But in this case, we're going to use PDF. And I'm just going to give you the most basic command, which is draw. So I'm just going to say draw and it has an X axis and Y axis. The X axis as a, the, uh, you know, starts from the bottom left and goes to the right. The Y axis starts from the bottom left and goes up. So I'm going to say draw a line from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Let's just start this. And then I'm going to build it using ASY example 1. And on the right hand side, you will see that something like this has come. So this is not very representative of what you would want. The reason is because the default image size in asymptote and the default like drawing size for the pen is not very convenient. So let's just say that we want a 5 cm by 5 cm image, which is a reasonable size. Now if I press F5, if I you know run the asymptote program, you can see that it has drawn a diagonal line going from the bottom left to the top right. Let's actually just be a little more, uh, you know, just do something more interesting. Let's actually draw something like a quadrilateral. So let's go from 0, 0 to 1, 0, then to uh, let's say uh, 1, 2, okay, which goes up and then we'll go to 0, 1, which goes to the left and bottom and then back to 0, 0. This will basically complete the cycle and draw a quadrilateral and you get something like this. Basically from 0, 0, you have gone to 1, 0 and then to 1, 2 and then to 0, 1 and then 0, 0. So as you can see, you know, you can actually just draw without having to use the mouse and you can actually just program your way into an effective drawing. Now, suppose that you want to actually uh, as have units for your drawing as well. Okay. You can actually just say something like 1 cm, 1 cm, 2 cm, 1 cm and for 0 we don't need units. So now if you do this, you get something similar. But then we have said the image should be 5 cm by 5 cm, but the image isn't. So what happens? So asymptote automatically stretches your image to fit in one of the dimensions. So one of the dimensions is 5 cm, the other is scaled automatically. Let's also do something like this. Let's do something so let's just draw something else also so we just say draw and we'll go from let's say 
one cm comma one cm comma zero, and we'll go till two cm comma one cm. Now, what you notice is that another line has appeared, and this other line is actually going slightly out, and you can see that the image has automatically again expanded to suit your needs. If you look at the if you look at the document properties, you will see that it's 50 mm by 50 mm. But suppose that I remove this by commenting this out, then if you look at the properties, you will find that this 25 mm by 50 50 mm. So the larger dimension is always scaled to the size that you set, and asymptote takes care of the scaling. One more thing which you can gain is you don't always need to have straight lines. You can also have nice curved uh, curved lines as well. So let's actually draw something like that. Let's actually draw from 0, 0, but then let me put a dot dot to 1, 0. And let me put 1 cm so that I want to have these units correct. You won't see anything because actually it's drawing another line on top. Maybe I will just uh, raise it by half a centimeter. So now you see that there is a line over here. But suppose that you want to, you want to have a curved line. To have a curved line, you can just, you notice that you first put dots, which means it draws a curved line. But to curve it up, you can actually just do something like this. You can actually just put in curly braces, the direction of the vector from which you have to essentially start. So let's say that we want it to go slightly to the north, uh, northeast and come back and slightly to the northeast. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to say one, one in curly braces. And you can see that it actually went to the northeast and it continued and came back from the northwest to complete it. But let's actually just play with it and say I want to come from the southwest over here. So I'll say minus one minus one. Ah, actually, if you say minus one minus one is where it has to come from, then it goes from the other side. So let's actually just do this. Okay, then let's try this. This is what we have. Okay, so you can see that depending on which angle you want to come from, you can always just specify it uh, based on your convenience. So now let's also do try something crazy. Let's try something like this. So this will come vertically from below. This will come vertically from above. Okay, so over here, just see that if you remember your geometry, this determines the slope. If you're going to change one of these parameters, the angle also changes. So if I give more weightage to the X over here, it goes more straight. If I give more weightage on the Y here, it's going to go up vertically almost. So that's basically the way it works. Finally, we can also provide some labels. So let's label the quadrilateral at least. So let's say we're going to label and we'll use LaTeX notation. So we'll put our letters in dollar dollar a and we're going to put it in uh, at the location 0 0 so you can see that the letter a has appeared but it's not very conveniently placed we want it slightly to the bottom you know slightly at the bottom maybe slightly to the left so that works out to something like I think southwest so you can see that asymptote places it at the southwest let's then add B at the point you know 1 cm comma 0 with southeast notice that the image is scaled automatically maybe I don't like southeast southwest let me just make it south it will just come below it's more yes and then we'll add C and D to the points above and then I'll say dollar C and then this should be 1 cm comma 2 cm and we'll put it uh, so maybe to the east and then we'll say label uh, a and b and we will put this to the left it's 0 comma 1 cm and put this to the west let's see whether this works so you have a nice labeled quadrilateral and uh, you know you can just uh, play around with this code we will just make this code available so one thing which you notice is that you can easily make these drawings, but the power of the language allows you to do repetitive tasks very well that we will see in a subsequent video where we'll cover the data structures, control flow, and how you can make more complicated diagrams as well.
थैंक यू